boy out there. No I day. Yes. Favorite in downtown San Jose. Browsing around, looking what's out here. So, there's so many different like restaurants and like, oh, this is so zoomed in. So many restaurants and cafes. Definitely gonna have to be making a trip out here again. Away from home, but when I touch down, I'ma need the crew back. Same room, same faces. Like, I ain't seen you in a minute, man. What been going on? Only ask cause I really wanna know I've been in the cup man, I've been in the zone Staying up past two, three, four And I admit it, admit it a lot of problems So I just got done doing conditioning Today we canceled it just because like it was in a lot of people that were gonna be able to make it Actually kind of worked out because I had a shoot this morning so after my shoot i was gonna just head straight here to do the conditioning I actually had time to just like go home and i was gonna you know thinking about going to the gym but i was like nah let me just go to the track as i planned even though it's canceled today what i did at the track today was basically just ran a mile and then after i ran a mile i was trying out this um like tripod accessory thing that moves around with you i'll insert some footage here of me just playing with it trying it out do some sprints but I ended up just doing the mile and then doing a lot of handstand practice as you guys saw such a full body move like a full body skill that like you get a lot of your body engaged while trying to do a handstand plus it's like a mental thing for me too because when I was little and I used to do gymnastics <laughs> I was always so like nervous about falling and stuff like that which is why I hated the beam oh my gosh I hated the beam definitely the most the toughest sport I believe in my opinion like ever but it's also a very mentally tough sport too because it takes a lot of skill I'm not a gymnast but I just enjoyed mixing up my workouts and I like doing different types of like skills and things like that I'm handstand practicing and I will say I'm doing a lot better than where I was um, last year even two years ago when I started to make it more of a priority to like practice handstands again but I'm doing a lot better and today actually helped me get a lot more confidence because I've been practicing a lot against the wall, which is great to start off. Um, but I've just been doing that for so long <laughs> and relying on the wall. So doing it open on open grass really helped to give me more confidence. And if I fall over like you're on grass, I mean, it, you could mess yourself up, but it's not like you're doing it on, on like hardwood floor or concrete. Now I'm gonna head back home, shower, and finish off my laundry. It's also my cousin's birthday today. Shout out to Jerome. Hopefully we get to go to dance class today because I haven't been in the last two weeks. So, yeah. supposed to be doing this being boozled <laughs> challenge I know this is so like old of a challenge um, <laughs> like remember when on YouTube challenges were like popping that's all people would do like this and the cinnamon challenge 
but uh, obviously this challenge has been around for so long it's such like a throwback thing uh, but my friend Mariah she mentioned she wanted to do this challenge with me so I picked up these basically if you never heard of being boozled I don't know how you haven't because it's like decades old <laughs> there's good flavors and then there's like horrible disgusting flavors for example you could get either buttered popcorn or rotten egg and the jelly beans look the same uh, another example birthday cake or dirty dishwasher and you basically pick up the jelly beans you don't know which one they are if they're the good jelly bean or the bad jelly bean and then you taste them and basically just get your reaction of if they taste good or bad so, yeah that's what we're gonna be doing soon so stay tuned for that but while i was there at party city picking that up i also picked up these harry potter beans um this is actually the ones that i've tried before i think i was in like fourth grade when my teacher in fourth grade had these jelly beans for us and um he was letting us try them <laughs> and one of the dudes got i remember so clearly that one of the dudes got a uh, vomit and then the one that i was lucky enough to get was grass and it just tastes like grass <laughs> so it wasn't too bad they have similar flavors to the bean boozled ones uh but things like booger earthworm earwax rotten egg vomit sausage dirt um soap <laughs> i'm probably so i don't know how exactly we're gonna do it i'm probably gonna mix them up and do like a a thing where you could choose whether you want to do it from the harry potter one or take your gamble with the bean boozled one we'll see but just stay tuned for that because we're going to be doing that challenge pretty soon i have no idea where this day has gone <laughs> it's like time just flew by like i literally feel like i woke up went to the store and then now the day has just flown by and it's gone i think i'm gonna do like another full week of workouts pretty soon because i've been collecting some footage um, like at the gym a little bit here and there and then of course here when I do it at the house and you guys know I like to switch it up a lot so even though I do similar types of workouts each week every day they're a little bit different Sunday conditioning days we do the same sort of things but every single session is different so yeah I think I'm gonna record another full week of workouts with that truly they're like <laughs> I don't know what else to show really in vlogs because that's all I really do is work out, edit, go to work, and then rinse and repeat, you know what I mean? So there's not really much else for me to really show you guys um, that I do on a daily basis besides, like I just said, work out, edit, or go to work. So I think that'll be fun to kind of show you guys what I do, um, especially when I'm at the gym as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed, then give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.